Hey, hey YouTube, I'm um, just giving you a update video here of my short course trucks. Um, I haven't done a short course video in a little while now because obviously not season here. I'm in Canada, so the outdoor track is covered in snow right now and well, it's starting to melt off, but I don't got any indoor tracks around where I am. Um, so yeah, season's coming up pretty quick here. Probably be racing near the end of this month or beginning of next month. Pretty excited. Um, if you guys have been following my channel, you know I got my low CSCTE and my Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive. Um, the SCT is 4x4. This will be my first R-Core season with the 4x4, whereas I've raced my two-wheel Slash and R-Core. Just, um, people say Slash isn't for racing and stuff, but... I'm starting to disagree. I've been really liking it out on the track. I'm making a name for the Slash. <laughs> I'll get some better footage this year from the races I've been doing. But, yeah, so, let's just get into it, I guess. Should be a pretty fun season this year. Really excited. Let's start with the Slash. So, as you guys know if you've watched the videos... Got the Mylapse Transponder, Savox, uh, I think it's a 1258, one sec. Yep, 1258 SC Servo, or SC 1258 TG Servo, aluminum servo horn. Got all my aluminum goodies. Um, yeah, but let's get back to the truck, really. I uh, got a Spectrum uh, SR300 receiver. Um, the receiver is not installed right now. Currently, I have it in my Exo buggy just because I don't use this thing in the winter. So I figured, why not just put the receiver in my Exo until race season comes up? So it'll be going back in this soon. Um, if you guys have been following the channel, you know I just got a new motor combo for this. Uh, last season, I was running the Valinian. And I ro I drove my 4x4 here with the Viper system. So I figured, you know what, I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to try it in my two-wheel. So in the 4x4, I think it's uh, uh, 4,500 kV. This one here is just 39 kV. Yeah, 3,900 kV, yeah. Um, yeah, not attached right now, just... I have I don't have the receiver in it right now, so I can't test drive it anyways, but yeah. Uh, this started out as just the brushed version. I got it used. When I bought it, it was in really rough shape, like really rough, so I'm just starting to slowly restore it now. <laughs> I've upgraded to the big bore shocks. Stock drive shafts still. I've not, I haven't had any problems with them, but I will be upgrading this year. Just because. Uh, down here, I got just uh, plastic Proline wheels with uh, Proline whole shot tires. Um, I don't know if you guys have. Uh, if you guys are in Alberta, in the Alberta region, region, you you may have gone to Medicine Hat races or Calgary races where I am. But on the most hat track where Ty Testament is in that, these tires were amazing. Whereas on the track near where I am, it's a bit of a harder surface, not as much sand, and not nearly as good on it. So, probably try some calibers or blockades this season. But, yeah, so, got the RPM bumpers. Um, really good truck. I'm really happy with it. Um, but yeah, I'll move on to the 4x4. Set that aside. So, uh, first, basically most of the driveline components and everything are stock. Uh, this one here has never seen water or anything, so... You'll notice it's pretty clean, whereas my slash, it's a little rusted in spots. <laughs> but, 
yeah, stock tires and wheels. Maybe it's just because it's four-wheel drive or something, but on the track I'm near right now, I love these tires on it. I don't know what it was, but I was pulling some good lap times, and they just worked out really good here, so I just left them. Um, same servo as in my slash, the 1258. Uh, same servo horn. I just really enjoy that servo. Super quick. Never had a problem with it, never stripped anything, never broke it. It's just an amazing servo. It's perfect for, like, anything and everything. <laughs> um, Sam SR300 receiver. Uh, this one I gotta get a external BEC. I have one there on my slash. It's, I noticed when I was out running it near the end of the season, it was starting to almost cut out a bit and losing power and stuff so gonna get one of those fix that problem um for the season what I plan on getting as you guys know for my slash I got the Proline Flowtech Raptor body got the nice green for my Losi I had the yellow and white one yellow and white just stock body but Planning on going to Tundra Flow Tech for the season. Get all ready. And yeah, I'll have some more videos as the season progresses. And thanks for watching.